that's what I'm <laughs> Listen, I, of all the religions I've like looked at, yeah. and I haven't looked great in, in great depth into them, mm. the one thing I would hope is true is Christ. Yes, he's More true. More than I would hope that Muhammad is true. Yeah. No, no, we do believe he's yeah. true. Otherwise, we wouldn't be Muslims, you know that. If we reject Christ in any form, we would be non-Muslims. We would be, we would actually leave the fold of Islam. Yeah, just the way he lived. Because it's part of the Iman. And Iman means Amana Billahi wa Malaikati wa Kutubi wa Rusulihi, which means it is mandatory for us to have faith and believe, uh, uh, sorry, to believe in the messengers of God. And, I, and I Jesus was a messenger that, of God. I don't believe when True Christ messengers. said that you can only come to the Father through him. You don't believe that? I don't believe it was meant for this, okay. this life. Would you I believe? believe it was meant for when the resurrection occurs, yeah. then every man will come to him. Yeah. Be they Muslim, be they whatever, whatever religion they follow now, mm. they will abandon that religion on that day when they see Christ in all his glory mm. and you will instantly know the truth that this is the truth and you will abandon your religion and everyone else Actually that's not true them. because you know for so us the religion every, In that way everyone can be saved. Yeah. For us the religion of Christ is the same religion as all the other prophets because he was a pure monotheist. He wasn't a Trinitarian like many of the Christians or most of the Christians today. A true man of God, a true righteous man, a true messenger of God is the one who submits to the will of God. Yes. Did Jesus do that? Yes. So he's a Muslim by definition. Whether he be a Muslim that's, or not. He that's did that's what a Muslim is, you know? God. Someone who submits to the will of the Almighty God. And you think all Muslims submit to the will of God? No, I don't say that all Muslims do. I said the definition of the term yes, Muslim. The definition of a Christian is someone who submits to God, is someone who is a follower of Christ and, Christ and lives their life as Christ. Yeah. So then how many Christians do you really know? No, but the, the Christians... So there is no, there's no Christians as yeah. far as I'm concerned. They're all apprentices. The, the Christians today, they actually worship Jesus as God. And that is the difference between someone who considers him to be a righteous well, prophet of God and messenger of God. Say again? But surely he told him not to do that. Not no. to worship Well, him. according to the... Did, did Christ ask him to worship him? He did not actually. No. But according to the Christians... So they're wrong. The Christians who do that are But wrong. guess where they get enlightened from? From the Bible again. Yeah, but they're, then they're getting the wrong enlightenment from the Bible. Yeah. So what is your understanding of Christ? Do you think he was... A righteous man, a prophet of God, a messenger I of God. He was the son of God. Okay, what does I that mean? What does that mean? I believe that he was the begotten son of God. Are you a son of God? Yes. Okay, so in that sense, is that what you mean? Yes. Like spiritual son of God? Yes. Okay, that's uh, different. Like a, crea a creation of God, that's all. Yeah. A creation of God. Yeah. So he is not God. But he was God while he walked on earth for three and a half years, I believe that God was in Christ until the crucifixion. That's a problem. And then when he left, when he was crucified, he had to leave Christ because God can't die. So, so when he was walking, Christ said, why did you abandon me? You know? so, so, so Jesus, he was alive when he said, why you abandoned me? He was alive. So God was with him? Yes, but he was about to die. So God could not remain in Christ. When he was, the, when he was in the garden the night before. Brother, who says this? Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, you know, it's okay, it's okay, bro. Thank you, Baba Rashi. You can't tell me that the Bible is wrong in lots of different things and then use the Bible to try and me with it. <laughs> no, no, my point is, no, so I'm, listen, I'm not using the Bible for me, I believe in it. Yeah. I'm just using the Bible for these listen. things, just to make sense for you that this all doesn't make sense. And anyway, because you really said when he was, when he was for three and a half years, the God was in him. Yeah. So then when he was, the night before he was crucified, he was talking to someone, which means the God wasn't with him. He was talking so you to the God. the Bible? I believe, believe I believe the in the says. Injil, the original scripture which was revealed upon Jesus, peace be upon him. Yeah, quoting the Bible for you to what understand. I said to him is that Christ said that do not think I've come to, to, to abolish the law or the prophets. I've come to fulfill them. Not one stroke of a pen shall be removed from the law until this system. Why you use the word until? Good. You're, you're a devoted Christian, yes? No. No, no. He doesn't you're, believe Jesus is God. Are you, are you Christian yourself? Well, he's I am an apprentice Christian. So, so you, you believe in Jesus? Please, uh, I, do, it's, uh, I believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. I hope in Jesus and, Christ. And, and you believe that, I hope that Jesus you, Christ is real. And as well, and as well, you believe that Jesus, you know, came, didn't came to abolish the laws, correct? 
Yes. Sorry to say, are you circumcised? Sorry? Are you circumcised? No. You're fine. So you're not following the laws of Jesus? And, uh, there's lots of things I don't follow in the no, laws no, no, of Jesus. No, 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 no. My point That's is, no, no, he's I'm here. an apprentice Christian. No, no. I am not a Christian. Which means you are modifying it. Yeah. So you're Sorry? making your own, your own church. I think, like, we all need to do that as well because we're all, we why all have you, the truth inside uh, us. Why? I believe that every one of us. You see the here, if, if the simple, if simple instruction, yeah. simple instruction in the Old Testament for men to be circumcised, and now you say it's abolished. Who abolished it? I don't know, but where the Quran says that true religion is not a creed, it is righteous behavior. Yeah, that's that, Islam. That's Islam. Yeah, that's so Islam. You, you are you using Islam now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, so that's why. Why didn't you? Why didn't you become Muslim then? Since Islam I is the truth. Become Muslim if I believe that Muhammad was the greatest who had ever lived. Should I? And he was sinless. No, no. I one second. One second. One second. I would become a Muslim. One second. I believe that the Quran okay. is in the in the Quran. He's okay. In one the second. Bible. Good. 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 He's in the Torah. If I prove to you Muhammad was a prophet of God, will you accept to be Muslim? If, if no. Because there's lots of prophets. If I prove to you, yeah, you Muhammad is the last and the final messenger yes. to the people. Yes. He is the last and the final one. Yes. No one after him. He is the last message yes. from God. Yes. If I prove this to you, will you accept to be Muslim? Uh, well, I don't think you can prove it to me. You can't prove it to me completely. No, you my, can, that's you not that. Uh, listen, and listen. I could, like that's true. No, 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 no. I'm asking. I'm saying. I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you, if, if I prove if, to you. If you could prove that to me and I could find that in my heart that that was true, then I, yes, of course I would become a Okay. A Muslim. All right. You read, you, did you read the, in the Old Testament? But do you think you will ever abandon your Muslim religion? No, at all. You don't ever see that happen? At all. Do you know why? Why? Because it has the absolute truth. Yes, it has no ambiguity. So what about there is no ambiguity. What about at the resurrection when Christ will come and in all his glory and you will instantly know One second he will come it was true. From my understanding, what I read from the from the from the scripture, your scriptures, not ours, that in the day of resurrection that the Father will be sitting on the throne. On his right hand side will be Jesus. So it's not the glory of Jesus, the glory of God now. Yes, okay, okay. So which glory are you talking about? Okay, well, I'm going by what I'm saying is that when, when, I, said that, when I said that. Come no on, I got one, you with this. When I, said I got no you with this. this. When I said that no come on, I got you with this. When Christ said that no one can come to the Father except through me, he didn't mean it for here in this life, C he meant it for. When the resurrection Listen. happens. Listen. And what, what's your name, by the way? What's your name? What, what, what's your name? Except Christ. What's your name, by the way? John. John. Nice to meet you. My name is Muhammad. Good name. Listen. Yeah, of course, it's a good name. And as well, John is came from Yahya, which is Johan. Yahya. God is with you. No, uh, as well, by the way, Yahya, which is. Uh, yeah, well, that's what it means in Hebrew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Yahya is a, uh, you know, is a. Um, is the name of the prophet, the cousin of Jesus, peace be upon him. Now, can you, can you make him to sit down? <laughs> there, come here. Come here. Sit. Sit down. She's all right. All right. Okay. She's, all right. she's very good. She's yeah, I know she's good. Bye, John. So, the, my point is to you, to you, John. You see here, uh, if you, the, the problem is many of the Christians, even like yourself, who try to be devoted to, to the scripture. But actually, I want, I want to be a man of righteous behavior. Good. I haven't achieved that. The man, the I, man of righteous I, behavior, we should follow the truth. Yes. Now the problem is, the Bible doesn't have the truth. No, I believe Sorry that to say. a righteous atheist what, is more pleasing to God. No, no, not necessarily. A preacher not, who's a hypocrite. Uh, yeah, and, I, 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 I would say yeah, the hypocrite the otherwise. Is. But my point is. Let's, let's use, we're talking about, because in Islam there are two factors. Two factors for the deeds to be acceptable. Two factors. Firstly, the person has to be sincere in doing it for the sake of God. You can't do it for the sake of people. You don't do it out of hypocrisy. You don't do it to please no one but God. Yeah? You don't need any praise from no one. You don't need any thankfulness from no one. All what you do for the sake of God. Yes. So, uh, that's the first thing. That's why the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, when they used to give charity, and they generally used to give charity in secret, not to, not to expose it, because they used to be keen to hide their charity, because it's a, it's a relation between them and God.
Yes. And if they had to do it in public, they used to close their ears because they don't want any gratitude or any thankfulness from anyone. They don't want to hear people to thank them for this. Look how righteous they used to be. Now, the second factor, that this act of worship it has to be according to the legislation of God. You cannot invent something. You cannot introduce something to the faith. You cannot worship God the way that you think is right. You have to worship God in the way that he, he prescribed to you. That's how the way to, to be faithful yeah, to God. You're telling me he prescribed it. What? You tell me he prescribed it. The Quran tells me he prescribed it in a certain way. Yes. The Bible will tell me he prescribed it in another way. Yeah, that's what. Now here, which so one is the way? Do I believe? Now what that's believe? A, that's a question. Do here. I believe what I know to be right? No. What I you know believe what be is right. no. You believe what it's is right. It's right that I respect you. Okay. It's right that I uh, I don't do you no wrong, or I don't do anyone okay. else wrong. The answer so, to your question. The answer to it is simple. We follow the truth regardless. Now here, not because the truth is according to you or according to me. We follow the truth according to the truth the itself. The truth in the Bible and the Quran is according to someone else. One second. No. Actually, yes. in the Quran, that's my point. You didn't allow me to prove that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last final messenger. That's why we'll come to this. The problem is... Like, for example, if you read the Bible, if you read the New Testament, you will find a scripture or you'll find some, for example, you know, the, uh, for example, the Gospel of John or Gospel of Luke or Gospel of Mark. All these Gospels, in the beginning of the Gospel, they will say, this Gospel is according to John. Correct? You read it. English is not my first language. Yeah? English, I assume, is your first language. Correct? Now, when you say... Yeah, where are you from, by the way? I'm Irish. Irish, good man. I love Irish people. By the way, we have a, a very beautiful history between Muslims and Irish, by the oh, way. By well, the... well, we're used to being oppressed. So, yeah, so... yeah, and, uh, yeah, that's why we, you know, the Ottoman Empire helped actually Irish people. So anyway, the, the point is... But there's bad Irish men. There are, bad there's bad, Irish uh, women. bad, bad there's Muslims. Bad. Everyone, yeah. everyone has. But has, has, well, my, my point is, I, I generally, overall, I, I, I like Irish people. They're, they're, they're genuine, general. Because we can empathize and, and, and we can empathize with the and, 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 and actually and I believe and I believe and I believe if, if Irish people they know they know properly about Islam, they're gonna be they're gonna be actually the minorities of Islam. They're gonna be those ones who's gonna be actually spreading Islam all the all around the world. And that's how I, I believe. Uh, in, in, God willing, inshallah in the future, that many Irish people like will embrace Islam. Going back to the point, you see here. Uh, Brother John, when, you, when they say this gospel is according to, meaning that there is someone is writing yes. on behalf of John, correct? Yes. So, so John wasn't there okay. to dictate. So John or Mark, they were not there. So someone was saying this gospel is according to John. Yeah. This gospel is according to Mark, etc. Yeah, some soup. Um, some soup. Soup. Yeah. Okay. How makes it? It hasn't got some drug in it now that makes me Muslim. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, so now here you see. So if that gospel says it's according to, that means the author is not there. Correct? Yes. By the way, you okay. the Bible is. Correct. Doesn't that apply to the Quran? No. What? The Quran. I will tell you how. The Quran, we have something called chain of narrators, meaning each single person who memorized the Quran is preserved in two ways. Chain of transmitters. In the Quran. Train, yeah, chain of transmitters. From, from now, for example, the Quran is preserved in two ways. Written, which is the book, and as well memorized. So we have now, currently, while I'm talking to you, we have 15 million Muslims on earth memorized the Quran from cover to cover. All of it, with vowels, with, with everything, yes, including the chain. Say they know the letter of the law, but forget the heart of the law. Well, but before that, love, that if Jesus justice, said that, mercy, yeah, uh, and all of that, that, that's not my point. My point is now this you know, this my point is knowing the letter of the law doesn't you know, mean. Yeah, that yeah no, no, actually, actually that, no, I'm talking. I'm not talking about righteousness. I'm talking about the, the preservation of the Quran, and that's something else. Which this is this is this advantage. The Bible has nothing to do with this advantage, with this. Yes. According, yeah. Because we don't have people who memorize the whole Bible. No one. Yeah? yeah. The whole, the Old Testament, yeah. there is no one. So, even just the New Testament. I could even, memorize a page. Yeah, yeah. So we have people, even non-Arab speakers, who memorize the Quran in Arabic language, in its original form. Children. Yeah, children as young as five and six years old. All of it. 
they will, they will read the whole of it. That's amazing. Do you know why? Because God said in the Quran, we are sending down this remembrance and we will be preserving it. So God promised to preserve the Quran. So this promise, we see it, we see it, we see it tangible evidence until now. Because the Muslim is so devout. You're probably one of the most no, devout people on, on that's true. On the earth. That's part of it. Along with the Jews, Th probably. That, that's not, actually very, very even the Jews. There, there's so not they bring their kids up from birth to learn, and they'll teach them the education. Jews don't memorize the Torah like the men. Yeah, the Jews. The Jews they don't. The Jews they don't memorize their Torah like us. The Jews they don't. They don't memorize that we. The way that we do, we deal with it is literally. We have what they call these madrasas and these schools. Like literally, each one will say. I read, I read this Quran from my teacher and teacher of my teacher, but they teach all the way to the companions of the Prophet, all the way to the Prophet which means all this chain are well-known figures, well-known people. So there is no ambiguity, there is no one, each single one in the chain is known and will and trustworthy and known in his transmission. That's how it is. It's not just only one chain. You have to believe that. Is that no, no, not believe. Believe. There's not believe. If you study, if you study the Quran, it's like mind blowing. I'm sure that the Muslim people are more pleasing to the real, to the true God than most of the other because of the way you live your life. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. that's are, that's um, that's true. But actually, but actually, the way that it is structured is not just only one person. It's not one person from another. We're talking about the Prophet peace be upon him taught the Quran, for example, to, for example, 10 people, those 10 people, each one taught the Quran to 100, and the 100, and so on and so forth. So we're talking yeah, about a huge... And you having to believe that. Yeah, and that's, that and, and how the Quran... James version. Listen, it's a version. That, it's a version. So that's yeah. why, and, and the Quran is tested on a daily basis. In every single mosque, when the Imam is reciting in front of the people, yeah, he will recite, if he made a single mistake, you will find 10 people behind him rectifying him even if he made a mistake with vowel, with vowel. If he said ah instead of oh or instead of e, to that extent, it is so sophisticated to that extent. Even, even a young child, even a young child will rectify the adult, will say to him, no, the pronunciation is like this. Like for example, the other day, I was, I was doing, uh, reciting uh, Surah Taha, one of the chapters of the Quran. And while I was just just trying to get to you know just to, to refresh my memory about it, and my son, he was 11 years old. May Allah preserve him, protect him, and give, bless him. So he was there. So I was I was reading Surah Taha, and I said, yeah, when I was saying uh, uh, about the story of Musa alayhi salam, when Allah Adal has said, Inni ana Rabbuka I'm your Lord. Take off your sandals. Uh, that you are in the holy valley of Tuwa. I said. I said instead of inni, I said innani. And then my son said to me, no Baba, it's inni. Myself. Can you imagine? So yes, yeah, so all is that proves and that all is that proves is that the, the version that Muhammad brought out has been kept. Preserved. 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 Yeah. Which is important thing. But what I'm saying is that I don't believe the version Muhammad brought out was No no but was when, when you, no, you say belief, you know that's no, different. No, no, you're talking, no, about multiple, we're talking about listen. multiple independent yeah, attestations. You have someone it's not just a belief. And everyone repeating a lie, it doesn't make it the truth. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. No, no, listen, no. that's fine. I will tell you, the, the, I'm talking about the preservation of the scripture. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about if the yes. Bible is not preserved, yes. which is, you know. Okay. If even the Mark or, or John, those who are even ambiguous people, no one knows who's John. Literally, even the, the biblical scholars, they debated who's this John, who is he? And then they debated, they, they, even they came to our nearly four or five people who are, which one is John? Is he this one? Definitely, he's not. The, he's not John the Baptist. Sorry, the John, the, not John the Baptist. Definitely, as well, he is not John the disciple because this John, he literally got his Bible from Mark, which is another problem. Do you see the issue here? Mark was never a disciple. And, and was Mark was never a disciple. I'm not in disagreement. Yeah, my point is. So how you rely on a scripture, you John? How do you rely on a scripture, which is you? you I'm talking about you. How you rely on a scripture that has all this ambiguity, that it has, it's not preserved, you don't know who said who, you don't know which is which, you don't know if that was the word of Jesus or not. You don't know. You're assuming. Yes. And you built your faith on assumption. Is this what God wants from you? 
God wants me to be a righteous man. He wants me to how to be people. How to be a righteous and, man. And, and if I get lost in all of that, what you are trying to, it'll take me a lifetime. Good. It'll take me two lifetimes. How to, to be a righteous man. You see here, I, I, want, I, I want you to these, to these men and two I, conditions. The, the true thing of God, what he wants of, of us, is lost. And all of that, 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 that you're trying no. to get every word right. My, every, my, listen, my friend John, I told you earlier, in Islam, there is two factors to be righteous, two factors for the act of righteousness, two factors. Firstly, sincerity. You have to be sincere to God in order for you to do the things. You don't want any pleasure. You don't want the pleasure of no one but God. You don't want thankfulness from no one but God. That's the first factor. The second factor, this act of righteousness has to be according to God. You cannot thank, I cannot thank you in the way that I, I think to thank you with, for example, for example, I don't know how you greet in, in Ireland. I don't know how you greet each other. I don't know how you say, uh, you know, for example, yeah? In different countries, they do different ways, yeah? yeah. So that's How's why... How's the crack? That's huh? the How's the crack in Ireland? How's the crack in Ireland? But it yeah? means a different thing than yeah. it does over there. So my point is, so how about God? When God, we have to be dutiful to God the way that God wants us to be dutiful to. In the way that he wants. If you want to worship God, it should be in the way that he wants. Because Not in the way that you invent. Any, any human father who has two sons yes. would want the, one son loving the other son and always being there and protecting the other son, even if the other son is bad. If that's more pleasing to God, if you Good. have a brother who's bad Good. and you're still there for him. Good. You, you but if your him. brother tried to kill your father, what are you going to do? If, if my brother what? Tried to kill your father. Or hurt your father. Or hurt your father. You, will, you, will you not protect your father? Oh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's my point. Yeah. You see here. Yes, you will protect your father. You will protect that's your father. Even if you even. Question Irishman. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I lost my brother. What yeah. the hell is yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. so the point is, you see here. That's why. It's, it's not about just only, oh, we, we should look at, you know, taking care of each other. We take care of each other. And the Prophet peace be told us in a beautiful hadith, he said, support your brother, whether if he's oppressor or if he was oppressed, support him. So the companion, they said, yeah, yeah, so oh, messenger yeah. of Allah, we know if he was oppressed, we know how to support him, but how if he was oppressor, how we support him? He said, to stop him from oppression. That's how you support your brother. If my brother is oppressing, then I have to stop him. This is the way I'm supporting him. Because I'm helping him not to commit sin. I'm helping him not to commit crime. That is what is it in Islam. So that's why going back to Muhammad. You believe in free will. Of course you do. You believe in free will. But you know that you never had free will to be born. No. You didn't ask to be born. No, but no, no, the, our free will our, so our free is not absolute. That, that's what I'm saying. If, our if free will, by the way, our free will is not absolute. That's what I'm saying. If a human father puts his child yeah. in a crack house and yeah. that child becomes a crackhead, uh, but, uh, is the father, wouldn't the father be wrong to condemn he's, the he's child wrong. He's wrong. for becoming a yeah, yeah. Uh, Our free will so in Islam... I didn't have free will to be born. Our free will is not is not absolute in Islam. No, no, for you to be born or not, that is up to God. Yeah, That's okay, yeah. No. And as well, by once the way, once you're born, and he put me in a place. Yeah, yeah, by the way, by the way, once also, you're born, then you get the free will. You have the free will to do certain things. Yeah. But at the same time, there are certain trials and tribulations and certain things which you have no choice. If you walk from here and someone hit you with a car, that's not your free will. It is or something happens. you want happens. to fly, you can't just fly. Yeah? You understand? <laughs> so there are certain things decreed by God that you have no control with it. But the choice, what is, what but the choice to be righteous. Any Listen. human father to judge that child and no, no. condemn that child for becoming a crackhead that, that, when he placed him in that crack house, yeah. it would be wrong of human father. Yes, exactly. So why is it not wrong of a God, a father, to condemn us because he put us here? No, actually, I will tell you why. Uh, no and I'll tell you why. We didn't ask to be put here. No, one second. We no, didn't ask no. to be here. Yeah. We didn't ask to be here, but God, no, but God put... you destiny and free will. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, mix, don't, mix, don't mix two things. No. My Go point on. is, my point Think is, we are here on this earth for a reason. We are living here temporarily on this earth to be tested. Yes, yes. tested. Tested. Yes. So that's why if there is no test, if there is no trial, there is no test. So, so that's part of this. So what, what happens after the test and when you die and the resurrection Good. and the judgment? Then the, the, day of judgment. The, the first so, thing, the first thing God will ask you, this is the first thing. Why you didn't submit to my will? That's the first question. So what God's will, this is the meaning of Islam. That's the meaning of Islam. Submitting to God. Anyone who submit his will to the will of God is a Muslim. 
So that's why the first thing that comes to you, the first question, why you haven't submitted to me, to God? And the first question you will be asked in your grave is, um, and two angels will come and ask you this question. In the grave. In the grave. This before the resurrection day. Now in the grave, they will come to you. They will beg you to sit down. Then they will ask you in the grave or at least your spirit, whatever it is, whatever, wherever your body is, whatever. But uh, they will be questioning that your, your soul now. They will ask your soul at that time, who is your Lord? Yes, but when Christ so, says so no man, every man is a sinner. No one we'll, is we'll, good. we'll come to the point. No let, let me finish. Let me finish my point. That's why he died, so that at the resurrection. Let me finish my we, point. When we are judged and we are tested from that testing, there is now knowledge of exactly what we need to be actually, uh, actually, actually, you, actually. You believe in the thousand years spent with Christ? Or what? You believe in the thousand years? We don't know how long. After what? the, He's talking after about the, the second coming. We, we don't know. The second life. We don't know. A thousand years so you We don't know. know that he's going to be coming. We believe if that he's going to be coming. You are educated for a thousand years about all your faults and all your, your your wrongs that you've done in life. By the end of that thousand years, you are then perfected, and you can actually be in the presence of God. John, John, so John, we, we, we John, don't John, 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 we are divided. John, John, be a Muslim, John, John, be a Christian, John, John, we are div we, we are just going to too many branches, yeah, diverting. No, Let's no, go yeah, back to the. I'm point. not educated in yeah, that way, I, so I, 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 I am just. I, I know. You know, you're more yeah. intelligent than I, I, people I, I, are meant to be. By the way, trust me. My point, my point is: so the first question, who's your Lord? Secondly, what's your faith? Who's the man was sent amongst you? Means who's your prophet? So the the true believer will say, Allah is my Lord. Allah means the one God. And my you faith is that's the true believer. and the true believer, yeah. And Islam is my faith, means submitting to God is my faith. And Prophet Muhammad is my last, is my final messenger. And that is then that's the first thing. So that's why it's after him. Yes. Now the point is to you, John. You said I don't know what, what if Muhammad said the truth or not. Actually, I will tell you something. Now there is one of the two choices. There is no third. Either Muhammad, peace be upon him, and God forbid to say, either he was a liar or, or he was a truthful man. One of them. There is no third, third choice. Or he was crazy. L l I, I doubt that he's crazy. I will tell you why. There is many testimonies that he can't, be, he can't be crazy. The thing that he has said, it cannot be said by someone who is mental at all. Even with a small mental difficulty at all. He was so focused, peace be upon him, and as well he was the most wise person. The way that the Quran is, it will tell you it cannot come to someone who has who has lack of even small atom of wisdom. That's why he, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he was a, the a, a person. Really now one, one thing, either he was a liar or he was a truthful person. Now if you say he was a liar, then the most important thing, well, if he, he need to lie, yeah, if he was a liar, why he need to praise God? Why he need to praise Jesus? Why he need to praise the other prophet, Moses, another? Why he need to say good things about them? In, in fact, rather than he could take the credit for himself, can be a case of he came, told he, came he came to pagan, yeah. which makes sense to them paganism. He could just invent something related to what they have. But what he did, he opposed everyone. He opposed all paganism. He opposed Jews. He so opposed a Christian. And then in the same Muhammad, time... Before Muhammad... How many gods did the Muslim worship? There, there were no Muslims. But there, there is Islam. There was no Islam before Muhammad. No Islam there used to be, I will tell you what it was. So Anyone, the, Arabs, the, the, mean, the Arabs, the Arabs, they were pagans. They, they were they, pagans. They worshipped yeah, they worshipped they 360, 65 so gods. Muhammad came along at a time when he would have known about the Jewish people and their Torah. No. And, and they worship in one God. And he wanted to unite the Arabs by, by introducing this one God, this belief in one God instead of 360. Days. Actually, actually, he could unite the Arabs to be pagan more than to unite the Arabs to worship one God. That's, that's more appealing to the Arabs at that time. Because think about it. Now, if I wanted to unite, for example, nowadays, yeah, if I wanted to, if I wanted to unite the, yes. all the Christian countries yes. in, in, in the Western countries, if I want to unite them, I will unite them. Yeah, the, I will unite them in what? Yeah. I will unite them in Christianity. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. This is the common thing. Yeah. So yeah. the Arabs. Well, it is now. It's starting. Even the Pope is doing it. Yeah. So I will unite them in Christianity. If, if it's about political thing, 
So when the Prophet peace was sent, instead of uniting them with the Jews, they were only little people, like little amount of people, and the Christian barely to even think there is Christian there in the Arab Peninsula. And yet, why he need to do that? And actually by him praising Jesus in the Quran, he was opposing the Jews. The Jews, they used to say bad things about Jesus. They still say bad things. They say he's a bastard. That's how they say about Jesus. It's beyond him. My point is, if he, want, if he will unite the people, okay, he will use Judaism, but he didn't do that. But he could use... The were really oppressed at that time, right? No, no, no. Just they were oppressors. To, to, they were the one doing... They were oppressors. Okay. They were oppressors. Time, yeah. Yeah. Okay. They were oppressors. They were... Before Islam, but they used to... We call it the Jahiliya period. It through Muhammad that ignorance. most places were conquered, wasn't it? No, that is... Um, so, yeah, during his time... So, so by the way, by the way, together. don't mix. By the way, before I'm talking about... When I said this, no, no Islam before the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We're not talking about that because we believe all the prophets, they were sent with Islam. They were sent with that to, to single out God in the battles of Fortune, to submit to the will of God, that's Islam. So all of them, they came with that message. Yes. So all of them, they are Muslims, yes. and that's the meaning of it. But I'm talking about the technical thing, the followers of Muhammad, peace be upon him. After he was sent, people used to be pagans. Pagans, they used to bury their daughters alive. They used to do all of these horrible things. They used to sacrifice animals for the idols. They used to do all of these kind exactly. of things. So they, you know, you see Mecca, you see Mecca, they used to go around Mecca because which is house of Ibrahim, peace be upon him, which he built it to worship God. What they have done, they brought the idols, the idols inside and all around Mecca, all around Kaaba there. And then they used to do, to go around the, the Kaaba naked, fully naked, men and women together. They used to be fully yes, naked. So Muhammad seen that and he didn't like what he seen. No, not about, okay. listen, it's not about what he likes, what he didn't like. He was, he was saying, he was saying, those definitely, those are not my God. So he went to ponder like Ibrahim, peace be upon him, to say, who is my, who, what are we doing here? Yeah. Yeah. Who, is the, who is the Lord, who is the creator? Then God revealed to him the first revelation. The first revelation yes. came to him through angel Gabriel. Came to him and said to him, read. He said, I'm not a reader. So to him, read. I'm not a reader. He keep repeating, read. And I'm not a reader. And then it reminds me a story in the Bible, by the way, about a man to be given the scripture and he will be said to him, read, and he will be saying, I'm not a reader. Did this come to your mind somewhere? You never heard about it? No. Yeah, where, where is it? No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. And I say, so, no, and I say, so someone, so you see here, someone will be given the scripture, will be told, read, and he will be saying, I'm not a reader. Talking about Muhammad, peace be upon him. There is only one single person this applied to, which is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He said, "I'm not a reader." He said, "Read." Then he said, "I he he heard stories from the Jewish religion. He would have heard stories from the One God, the belief in the One God. At that time, he, he would have heard that, and he would have seen how united the Jews were." The, no, the Jews they were not united. The Jews they were not united. No. no. The Jews weren't united. They were not united. Okay. They were not united. Okay. They were not united. Allah said, Allah affirmed this in the Quran. He said, "Tahsabum." You think they are united, but they are not. And you could see now nowadays, nowadays the Jews are not. They were never united. They were, they were never united. That's something which is and Jews and the Jews. Both of them are not. They're never united. They are never united. And that's something which is known because they're all since the beginning they have Eve, Samarites, Jews, and the other and Ashkenazis. So they were never united. By the way, the Jews for them it's only from the race, you know. Yeah. So you can't just become a Jew. I mean, today they might have changed it, but back then it was like I, if either your parents are not Jewish, then you can't be Jewish. Your mother. Yeah. 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 They would actually go back. Well, so no, they would trace the tribe from the father. The tribe is always traced from the father, and that's why they say David. And even and even and even the Jews, the Jews in Medina. I believe in, in today is like Muslim is being used as well as the Christian. You are not like, Christian, John. Come on. The enemy of this world. Come on, John. Rich. John, John, listen They're to the me. The rich and the powerful. John, who, John. who started wars. John. I will give you. I will give you. I will give you one single. One and single story. The listen, as well John, as the Christian. John, please listen to me to this one single story, and then at this point you will know that this Muhammad Yusuf, was he a truthful prophet or not? Just one single story and then uh, I will tell you, I will tell you. Be that he was let, let me, let me tell you. Truth, that he let me, let me tell you. Let me tell saying. you, which is not mentioned in the Bible, not mentioned in the scripture, not mentioned anywhere. This only uniqueness and we discovered it recently. And I will tell you, at his time, when he moved to Medina, when he was established, but yet many of the Arabs, they still wanted to attack him, wanted to kill him, wanted to wipe Islam, because they basically changed the whole situation, changed the whole demographic. They said people worshipping all these idols.
to do to do the pilgrimage to these idols. Now you can worship God anywhere. That's a problem for them. So what they have done, they said we need they get together to wipe Islam, including the Jews in Medina. They try as well. They conspired they conspired against them to destroy Islam. During that time, during this all these problems, yeah, and all of these sophisticated situation, he had his youngest son. All his sons they died young, and he knew. He will never have a, son, a living son because it, that no, because otherwise no naturally or no no no, no he has a, son, a wife he has wife yeah, he has he wife died. naturally naturally they died naturally so he knew that God because otherwise the people will take him will take, will inherit the prophethood and Allah doesn't want the prophet the, the prophethood to be inherited so his son his, the, his last son his name is Ibrahim yeah he named him Ibrahim after his forefather Ibrahim and his mother used to be a Coptic Christian. And then she embraced Islam, radiyallahu anha, Maria Qutiyah. And then she gave birth to his son, Ibrahim, the last son. And his son reached the age of two, two years old, and died. Yeah? When, after he died, after his son died, in the same day, they have the sun eclipse. In the same day. In the very same day. So the morning he died, in the afternoon they had the sun eclipse. Solar, what the, what solar ex eclipse. What they said, the people that said, the, the solar eclipse, the sun eclipse because of the death of uh, the death of the son of our prophet. That he, that's why God is sad for him. The sun is sad it's for him. Sign. It's a sign. God. It's a sign from God that this calamity and all of these things, the hardship that he's going, the sun eclipse. It makes sense for that time, for people that yes. time. There is nothing in the Bible to say why the sun eclipse, why the moon eclipse. There is nothing. No one can know what's going on there. So he came out to the people. And even he was hasty to the people, dragging his garment because he was wrapping the garment, and the garment was dragging on the floor out of hastiness to tell the people, "What you do? What you talking about?" So he came to the people. They said, "He said what you were saying." They said, "We say that the sun eclipsed. They have a solar eclipse because of your sun died." And then he said, "Verily, the sun and the moon, those are signs of God. They will never have eclipse for the live, for the life, or the death of no one." including myself, all my children. But if you see this, if you see this, rush and haste to pray to God, to praise God. So now here, if he was a liar, if he was an advantageous person, taking the advantage of the opportunities, as, as you may assume, opportunities, if he was, he will say, yes, by the way, yeah, you see here, look at my power. Yeah, God no, now, he wasn't a yeah man. you see here and I, I'm not he if he a was the man. truthful man but was he the greatest example of a man that if, he was, if he that was if he was if he was you don't know much about him because yeah, that's I, why. Believe, I, look, I believe he's a better man than I'll ever be actually you know what I mean? he I'm is man. but he's uh, he, he just Michael listen Hart. But if you know, Christ, is he greater than Christ? If you believe in what he, he, he's the leader what the of all Bible the prophets, he, he, he is, he is, is the leader. He is the leader of he, the prophets. Do you know why? But then why is he not in heaven? Christ on the ground. Good, good. Here, God wanted to test us and test you as a Christian and test everyone on earth for the death of Jesus. The people who conspired against Jesus, they wanted to kill Jesus. God wanted to wanted to say to everyone, the life is in my hand. Not with you. I take the life and I keep the life of anyone. What he will do, that's why he, he left Jesus, peace be upon him, up without being crucified. He didn't die. He didn't taste the cup of death. He, he Allah brought him up to him. And Allah humiliated his opponent, those people who tried to crucify him. Allah humiliated them in this life and in the hereafter. But that's when he come back, he will be signed. Look, we're never going to saw that. When he comes back, but... when he comes back, he will be signed about the truthfulness of God and the truthfulness of the prophethood of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And that's why he will live, and I will tell you what will happen. He will live here for 40. Could be 40 years, 40 months, 40 days. He will live on earth for 40. He will kill the Antichrist. He will kill the, the pig, the swine. And he will break the cross. And then he will rule with Islam. And he will stay here for 40. Then he will die like a normal man. And he will be buried. And we'll, we'll be praying on him, the believers, the Muslims, they're going to be praying on him, and he'll be buried as a man. He and that's how it did is. Die like a normal man. No, he didn't die. No, but he was Jesus. Like a man. Yeah, but you want me to believe that. I'm, I, what I believe is he already did die like a normal man. And a God who dies, come on, come on. Muhammad, come on. when Muhammad wakes up, whether Do you remember 90,000 years we, he's we been asleep, that a righteous man will never when he be wakes up, man. it will be like he fell asleep the night before. 
all of all of us the same day. Exactly. John, why don't you listen? Why don't you do something for me? When you go home, when you go home today, I'm not here. Well, at the end of the day, you have a good heart, and we ask Allah to guide you to the right path. At the end of the day, I told you if he was liar, Muhammad, if he was a liar. He, if he was advantages. So there is no, 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 we believe in both we believe. and Jesus. Look at us. There is no there is no religion on earth that respects Jesus more than Muslims. No. The Jews they call him bastard. The Jews they call him bastard. The pagans they don't care about oh, well, Jesus or anyone else. Him, no. And the yeah. Christians say he's cursed. And the and the Christian, even the Christian, they say he's the curse of the earth. They call him curse about Jesus. We don't call him curse. We call. We say about him when we mention Jesus. What do we say? May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him. And Mary, Mary and blessed. Allah said. Allah said. Look. Oh, could, you could read in the Quran. You, you have a Quran, yes? Yeah. I do have a Quran. Yeah. Yeah. You see, Allah says about him when when Allah spoke to him. Wassalamu alayya yawm walidtu. Peace be upon me in the day that I was born, and the day I will die, and the day that I will be resurrected back again into life. He said this, peace be upon him. That's how we believe in him. So my point is, my brother John, why don't you leave all these hocus-pocus things, ambiguous and big? I don't believe this hocus-pocus. No, but you believe, I believe in, it. You, you, but I don't believe in, I don't believe in the Bible. You believe Jesus died for your sins? Don't but that's you so you see, do you see any justice in that? Yes, I do. Do you believe that killing an innocent man or planning the death of an innocent no, he man? Didn't kill him. He sacrificed. No, no, his, no, no his sacrifice was planned himself. according to the Bible. No, no, was it not planned? Yeah, it must have been planned. So yes, if anyone plans it was on the, the was, death of an innocent man, is that not wrong? Christ, so by, the, by the way, by the way, by the way. No, no, it was, his death was planned by, by your God. By the Jews. Come on, come on. No, but his, his death was planned by the biblical God. Come on, John. You see here, John. As well, did Jesus want it to be to be killed? No, he didn't want to be killed. Not the human Jesus didn't want to be killed. Come on. How many Jesus are there? How many? Come on. There's only two. one. So That's a human flesh, Jesus. The flesh, Jesus in the flesh. No, but he was. And the divine Jesus, who was, this, who was. Uh, God was inside. Him. Earlier you said God there's no divine Jesus. Jesus. He was not. God. Come on. Saying divine. Come on. You said no, no, this is the fact. No, I didn't say that. No. You no, said. You no, said. It'd be easy, three years. It'd be easy to make me look an idiot because no, I. No, not, not, uh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. By the way, way. You are, I respect you. You so, are. Yeah. You are respected. I'm just going by the way, so I you respect you. divine Jesus. Do you? Yeah. What? Do, what do you understand by that term? That he is from heaven, from uh, from God. According to you, we all are from God. Have you not? According David to was son of God. We are all from God. Yes. And according to you, we all spiritual. Was Adam from God? Yes, of course. Yes. Yes. So yeah, then we're so he, all from God. So we believe that everyone, when we say from God, we mean they're creations of God. Yeah. But not big, not God. So we don't call them divine. Just because they're creation doesn't make them divine. No, I know. Yeah, but uh, this was so there's God. Not, so. Yeah. By the way, it is the church. Begotten. Yeah, what, that's what what you made it worse. From the church. Oh, the church. Begotten. <laughs> I went to a church. I know. That's why I think you're repeating what you learned in the Come church. Come on, John. John. And, 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 and the farmers would all John. stand outside the church. Yeah. Come on, John. You know, uh, and you know. By the are you are you are you Catholic? By the are you used to be Catholic? Yeah, yeah. I was brought up a Catholic. Exactly. But not practicing. My mother never sent me off to school after church every every Sunday. Yeah, yeah. God is merciful enough. To pardon your sins, if you sincerely ask him for forgiveness, mm. for for repent, you repent yes. to him sincerely. And everyone will. Yeah, at but, the resurrection, but God doesn't need will. God doesn't need the blood of an innocent man. You to will you. abandon your religion. You will abandon why? Why? Your why? Religion. That? The Christian will, the Christian will abandon theirs because why what about you? Will only be one. And that's Christ. Christ is. Come on, uh, come on, John. John, 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 you will know. John, is there an eyewitness for for Does it say for that, that Muhammad is going to be there for the resurrection? Yeah, that of he's going he to judge. Yeah, all is he going to judge? He's all going to intercede. Not judge. He will he's intercede. Going to intercede. No, no. But the judgment, the judgment, judgment. You know no, no, no. Jesus, the judgment Jesus is only on God. Do they say Christ is going to judge? Sorry, no, no, is no. Christ going to judge no. the resurrection? No, no, no. He's Christ, going to rise. Christ will no. judge on the earth as a judge, no. but not in the day of judgment. Not in the day of judgment. In judgment, he's a, he's a servant. He's, he's a heaven, slave of God. Just the fact that he's in heaven. Uh, You're repeating Muhammad the same thing, John. Come on. By the way, by the way, even by the way, by the other prophets are in heaven as well. Other prophets are in heaven. Yes, I told him already. Okay, listen. Gabriel, angel Gabriel is in heaven. It was really good talk. By the way, John, I told you one thing before you go home.
Today when you go home, all what I want from you, just take a shower, go home shower, come out. Why do I smell? <laughs> no, no, just take a shower, yes, just purify. Purify. Say, God, I know you're there. Yes. I know you hear me. I know you see me. Guide me. Be sincere. Guide me to the right path. Yes. Where is the right path? Show me the truth. Sincerely, say, do that. I have done that. And this Try is to why do I it. believe. Try. I... That's why you became closer to Islam. <laughs> more than Christian. <laughs> Do it more, and maybe you're going to become Muslim. Yeah, well, I would you never know. If the Muslims believe in Jesus Christ, well, we, do we believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in Jesus Christ. More than the Christians do. In, no, in we believe. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, you, you have your own uh, your own interpretation. By the way, By the way John, John, yeah, please do this to, before tonight. You go, can I just Yours. remind you of one analogy? Okay, imagine this. Yeah, you are the judge in the court of law, and there is a convicted criminal in front of you. Let's say a murderer. You're the judge. The jury, yes. the judge, both of them have convicted this guy who, who murdered someone and has condemned Zishan. him to be punished. Yeah? But then you say, hold on, I'm not going to punish him. I'm going to take my innocent son and punish him instead. Would you be a just judge? Or would you be would you be judge? Okay. So if you're the if you're I'm the judge. If you're the judge and you have you have, uh, with all the evidence presented to you and the jury, you have now condemned this person who is a murderer of a criminal uh, of the crime of murder, mm -hmm. and then you decide, anyway, as yeah. a judge, that you are not going to punish the all convicted right, criminal, the murderer, but you are going to take your innocent son and punish him instead. Okay. Would you be just? No. Good. No. Would you expect such injustice from God Almighty? Exactly. So anyone who says that Jesus Christ is going to pay for your sins by dying for you, you're blaspheming God by saying that he's unjust. It's a sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. Jesus. A, sacrifice. a sacrifice is something which is willing. He was not willing to go to the cross in the Garden of Gethsemane. He falls on his face. Oh, he had a, he had a weak moment. A but, weak but you see, that is... That, that's a, that's, that tells you that God. The unwillingness is... Muhammad anyway, I, 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 I need to go. I need to speak oh, yeah, to them. That's a lie. John, yeah, he was nice talking to you. Yeah. No, no, that's a lie. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I'll accept that's that. Right. No problem. All right, John. All right. Your name? But think about Ashim. Ashim. Ashim, okay. yeah. Good. Good. All right, Ashim. Okay. All right, Thank my you. brothers and Thank sisters. You, May Allah reward you. Thank you, John. May Allah guide you, John, to the right path. Jakubullah khair, my brothers and sisters. May Allah guide him to Islam. Alhamdulillah, today we had two people who sincerely wanted to learn. And we ask Allah Azza wa to guide them to the right path. Inshallah Ta'ala with your dua, Inshallah Ta'ala, make dua for them. And give us, and as will make dua for us, that Allah to enable us to bring people closer to Islam. Allah Amin. Amin. Zakallah khair. Allah Amin. I don't know which one is which and who's who. Yeah, just leave it here, they'll take it, Inshallah. Am I, do I have other? Did you find it? Yeah, yeah, sir. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Hi. No, there's no, just only. So, like, there? Yeah, the Quran was also the final messenger, but we also believe in the previous messenger. Like, Abraham, Noah. And we believe they're all sent from God to believe in one God. Yeah, right? The issue is that sometimes it becomes corrupted all the time. Humans are dependent on the 